eight dollars you guys eight dollars for these six beautiful beautiful colors i love it, it you can't go wrong for eight dollars the runway ready lip kit by elf i love them they're so great for beginners like me because you know they have brushes they have lip stuff they have the eyebrow stuff like you know they're here for you at a very 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 affordable price point when you get to the point where you know what you're doing and you know you're comfortable and you wear makeup a lot and you know you want to you know keep it for a long time and you know it'll last a long time then you know you can spend a lot of money on it but for me i'm just trying out i'm experimenting this is amazing for me like my mind is blown eight dollars for these six beautiful colors like Hello again. I hope you know. I'm Contessa Janae. Thanks for stopping by. I'm so excited that you wanted to see the second part of my Target haul, which is all about beauty products. As I said before, I'm not uh, the biggest makeup person. I definitely do um, no makeup looks. Um, there's certain things that I do like to do, and I am trying to you know, experiment more and get more into eyeshadows and lipsticks for when I just want to have fun and experiment, you know, it's not an everyday thing. I just want to learn how to do that. So I got some few products. I also got some skin products because your skin is very important and you should always take care of it as best as you can. I hope you would stay tuned to see what I got. So it is a big bag, but it's full of tiny, tiny little things, which I love. It's just a whole bunch of these tiny things. And I'm so excited to show you guys. So I wanted to start with this. This is um, the oil-free acne stress control Neutrogena triple action toner. what it says <laughs> just take my word for it uh, there we go I'll cover my light just for you <laughs> just one thing so yeah this is it anyhow so I've actually tried uh, two other Neutrogena toners and I just wanted to try another one the first one I really liked when I had really bad acne um, it helped me really well but it's a little I don't know, it just seemed a little more serious. Um, and then the second one, it was really, it was like for sensitive skin, really gentle, which it was great. But then I felt like because I have combination skin, um, most of it is dry. But in my forehead, my nose, and my chin, my T-zones, always oily all the time. So the one that I used before just wasn't, it just, it just wasn't doing it for me. So I needed something again with salicylic acid in it. So I got this one. Um, I haven't tried it yet. Mm. It smells like serious, but like good. Kind of like, I don't know how to explain it. Like some type kind of fruity, but also like tonery, little, a little alcoholy, but not a lot. Um, and it's not supposed to dry your skin, but it's supposed to eliminate oil and shine and soothe your skin. Green tea and cucumber. Okay, that, it smells like cucumber. That is what I was getting. Like, it smells like cucumber without the melon. It almost smells like cucumber melon, but very, very dull. It's, that's exactly what it is. It smells like cucumber and green tea, which is great to help reduce redness and irritation. And then... Uh, the salicylic acid in it is to help prevent any breakouts before they come so I just thought that was great I have hormonal acne which basically just means like during my period or during um, stressful moments or anything like that I will start to break out 
that's not fun like you know especially you know you're on your menstrual cycle once a month so it's like I have no choice um but to break out like I'm there's it's basically like I'm gonna break out <laughs> so with this I you know I feel like I needed that as uh the as the sil salicylic or salicylic I think it's salicylic acid in it to help me and uh, when I was in high school I used um, products with that in it. I will do a skin routine video, a nighttime one, and then a daytime one. And then I'll also do five simple tips that can change your skin. My skin uh, was really, really bad. And like right now, you can tell the difference. I don't have any foundation on at all. So um, like no foundation, no concealer, no BB cream, none of that. I love BB cream. Um, that's like my go-to but I don't have any of that before I felt like I couldn't go anywhere without that on because that's just how bad my skin was uh, in the skin videos I will show like before and after so anywho so I needed a new toner got a new toner changed my life okay so now on to like the real beauty things like obviously your skin is important so um oh i also did get another uh cleanser too i got a cetaphil cleanser it's my first time um using it buying it for sensitive skin i will like i said do an actual just like skin video and also um give a review on that i've heard really good things about it i usually use the deep clean uh, I want to say Nivea or Neutrogena deep clean mask which is great but you know it's just like as more of a deep clean I like to put that on let it soak in sit in you know like after I've been outside like before I go to bed at nighttime I like to use the other one but that is for the skin video once again I'm not gonna go that far into the skin stuff because I could talk about it forever so now I first got uh, the NYX dewy finish setting spray so like I said I don't really use do makeup much but when I do do a simple look um, I did realize that when I did use BB cream or anything like that my face would seem a little dry still and I just felt like there was something missing and um, as watching YouTube videos and stuff like that I realized that I say stuff like that <laughs> Watching YouTube videos, I realized that setting spray is what I was missing. So I got, and I love, I love a dewy finish. As you can see, like my natural skin, because it, it just, it's oily sometimes and not. I love a dewy look. I like it to look fresh and natural. I don't wanna, I don't like to always look so like beaked and, you know, contoured down and this and that. So I love a good dewy. This is the Proto. Yeah, so that is it. Dewy finish. This is uh, two ounces. It was $5.59 in the store. So um, not bad at all. I don't think you use that much um, each time you use it. I can't wait to use it and see you know how it changes my routine and if I notice any difference or um, you know see what happens um, so the next thing oh I got another thing for skin <laughs> see it's just <laughs> you know so this is the Garnier skin active um, soothing facial mist made with rose water and no parabens dyes or silicones So, and this is uh, 4.4 ounces, and it was, um, it retails at $6.79 in the store. Um, like I said before, um, my T-zones are very oily, but the rest of my skin is very dry. <laughs> um, my family, um, like from my dad's side, actually has super, super dry skin he has eczema um 
in like severe eczema him and my um little sisters they all have to actually use medicated um moisturizers um they've had to do it their whole lives i haven't had to do that but i have extremely dry skin everywhere but <laughs> On my face it is annoying because when I wake up in the morning my eyes feel so dry and my lips feel so dry and my cheeks feel so dry but the eyes was like what was really killing me and I was putting on I put shea butter coconut oil um, lotion like Lubriderm um, I was putting everything <laughs> and I would wake up and my eyes were so dry my face was so dry so I was like okay something has to give so I um I heard I know that some I forgot who it was I'm sorry I'm trying to see if I can remember but I was watching a youtuber and she uses the Mario Badescu rose water spray for her face and I actually wanted to get that because it's like a setting spray and just for everyday spray but they only sell it at like Ulta and um, similar stores so I needed something now because like I said I was tired of the dryness like I tried so many moisturizers it wasn't working so I decided to just get this rose water spray and then get the NYX spray for my setting spray just in case that this wasn't actually a setting spray and it doesn't say it's a, set, a setting spray so I was just like why not also I know I want to use this like every night probably in the morning and in the night maybe even twice at night so um, I also didn't want to like use it all up and then when I need to use makeup when I need to use it for my makeup it's gone so it also works out that way that I have to I'm actually already been using it and it's a uh, my eyes still feel a tiny tiny bit dry but everything else is wonderful um they say don't spray it on your lips though so i haven't been able to put it on my lips i found another uh alternative for my lips i have to like layer it three times i have to put it um i put eos then i put carmex then i put a and z ointment and then I put a vitamin E lip gloss on top of that. <laughs> and that is the only way I will wake up with my lips not being dry. So that's just gonna show you how serious this dry skin is. However, if this works for me, then it smells really good. It just, it just smells like, uh, it's just, I don't know. It smells so good and like as soon as I spray it, I'm just like, ugh, I just feel ready for bed. I just feel fresh. But I usually do, um, I'll like get in the shower and, you know, do my night routine and then I'll spray it on and then I'll like watch TV and stuff like that. And then right, right, right before I'm ready to go to sleep, I'll spray it like, you know, don't be shy. Like <laughs> I spray, you know, a good amount and it's very light mist. So you can like spray, 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 spray. And when I wake up in the morning, I feel great. My skin does not feel dry. My eyes don't really feel dry. It's still a little bit, you know, everybody's eyes get a little dry when they go to sleep, you know. But they still feel amazing. And I drink water. I drink, all I drink is water. I don't even drink juice or soda or anything like that. So it's not, <laughs> it's not that I don't drink water either. It's just a hereditary, I just have dry skin. So if you also have dry skin, the Garnier Skin Active Rose Water, Soothing Rose Water, or the Soothing Facial Mist made with rose water, you should try it. I'm sure, like, I, I am going to still try the Mario Badescu. I heard that's really good, too. I don't know if people use it for dry skin, but I know I will be trying it. Okay. So I've been getting into lashes. I really love lashes. I don't have any lashes on right now, actually, which is interesting. But um, yeah, I just been liking lashes. I actually got like some lashes from the dollar store that actually were really great. I didn't want to get any expensive lashes because I just, you know, I wasn't sure if I would like them. I didn't know what I was really doing. Now that I'm getting more into makeup, 
I really, you know, I like lashes. And since I don't do too much, um, too much makeup, lashes, you do like your eyebrows and you put on some lashes and some lip gloss, maybe a little highlight, a little blush, and you're ready to go, you know? I will also do a no makeup makeup tutorial so you guys can see how I do it. Very cute. So I got these um, Lux Lash. It's a Lux Lash kit, it says. Wings and polished, multi-dimensional lashes for full volume and length. I wonder. Oh, one pair of lashes and one tweezer. I'm like, what makes it a kit? I don't, you know, but that's cute. So they actually gave me a tweezer. I actually borrowed my best friend's tweezers because I didn't even have a tweezer to put on my lashes. So I can give her back her, <laughs> her tweezers now. That's awesome. Well, no, I, I found another pair of tweezers I've been using. But I had to give them back. But it's cool. So it has um, lashes in it. Let's see. I mean, a tweezer in it. I'm just curious to see what the tweezer looks like. Hmm. Oh, okay. It's not a. Oh, okay. I've seen um, YouTubers use these. I thought it's not <laughs> your typical tweezer. It's not the tweezer I was expecting. But, um, yeah. Super cute. It doesn't feel that, like, like it grips tight enough. But I guess it'll do the job. But I think I might stick to my other ones just because it's so small. Um, but then again, I guess it's better to, like, get really close to your eye with it so we'll test it out and see oh I like that um so they were um they were just in that little hole right there so it has its own little carry space you can see how it just fits in there super cute can't wait to try those on they look really beautiful um it says multi-dimensional Layer for layered look, which I really love. They look very extra, and I really love it. I'm thinking maybe about getting like professional lashes done, like individuals, but I don't know. I'm kind of scared of like them falling pieces of falling in my eyes and stuff. I know using proper glue would probably, you know, help with that. But there's only one way to find out and that would be for me to get them and hope that nothing falls into my eye <laughs> moving on so now um like i said i don't do much makeup but i do my brows and i do contouring and then i do highlight and blush um <clears throat> so i got this contouring brush um from wet n wild I don't know where the actual paper receipt is for some reason for this, so um, I will put it down below in the description. But yeah, so this is the Wet n Wild contouring brush. It's very pretty. It has like a little pink. It has a little pink tip on it, and then it's white. Very pretty. I just like that it was white. I do like that it's an angle. Which, so that's just the reason why I got it because it's just flat it's like a flat angled brush and so you know you can just get it you get it on the sides you know under and do another piece you know and then blend it in so <laughs> super cute um, you know simple oh and I love it has a little finger ridge. I just realized that right there. So when you're holding it, your finger, your finger goes right inside. So it's like nice. Oh my God, that's so cute. I can't wait to use this. And I'm obviously pink is one of my favorite colors. So I love the pink tip. I got a, a e.l.f. concealer brush for, you know, for those acne pop-ups my period or anything like that 
um, I do use like BB cream or I use the NYX HD um, matte foundation and I'll just you know just dip a little bit in obviously you know concealer brush I'll just put a little bit on the tip and then just kind of like dot like I have some I actually have pimples now I don't know if you can see them but I just didn't want to cover them up chilling we're friends at this point you know i don't need to be dolled up all the time right you know i could live this weekend i put in my hoop earrings today guys you see i'm actually wearing the hoop earrings i'm so proud of myself they actually look really cute and i actually like it with the plain black choker i think it's adorable so yeah i'm actually even getting used to the look and the weight of them i'm so So yeah, <laughs> um, the L concealer brush, I'll just dip a little bit into my BB cream or my foundation and I'll just, you know, dot them around wherever I have, you know, my little dark pimples anywhere, or any dark marks and just use that to conceal and, you know, so you don't have to put like a whole face of foundation on just for like a few dark spots. Um, yeah. Dance band. Then I got an eyebrow duo brush. I'm so excited to try this. I have not, I'm new to doing my eyebrows. I used to always go get them done from different places. <clears throat> and they just never seem to look how I thought they would look at the ends. Like no matter how much I tried to tell them, it would most of the time I would say, like I would go to the places and they would do it pretty okay. But it was always just that anxiety of hoping that they would do it right and then most of the time disappointment because it they're not done properly so i've been trying to you know figure out doing my eyebrows myself i kind of have a method i'm still figuring it out just you know tweezing and clipping and here and there and there but i still like them way more than when i was getting them done by other people and if i mess up my own eyebrows then that's my fault. But if I'm paying someone to mess up my eyebrows, like that's unacceptable. <laughs> so yeah, I got this eyebrow duo brush and it has, um, it says it has dual sides. One is a spoolie side and let's see what the other side is. I mean, I would assume they're both spoolie. Soft synthetic brushes, perfect to use with powder gels and creams for a perfect polished look. So let's see. Oh, okay, yeah. Dope. So this is a um is a, oh my god, this oh, I can't wait. I'm so excited. Like <laughs> ah, I can't even contain myself. Okay. It's an angled spoolie for um your eyebrows, so you know. You don't, you don't have to like angle your hand it's already pretty much well no, you still do but it's like still angled to like you know, go up can't wait to use it i was using a old i had a wet and wow clear brow and clear brow and mascara gel which i love and i you know interestingly enough i can't even find that stuff anywhere I'm sure there's an alternative, but yeah, I cannot find the Wet n Wild Clear Brow and Mascara Gel to save my life. And it has like aloe in it. And it actually helped my eyelashes grow. So like I need that and I want to add it to my night routine. This is like the only thing I feel like I'm missing is like something for my eyebrows and my eyelashes to just help them be moisturized and grow as well. I mean, I put coconut oil stuff on them too, but still, like, you know, just a little extra to make sure they're uniformed you know so you wake up looking older anywho so this is the angle spoolie and then the other side it's an angled brush um for your concealer um you know so you can draw your straight line around to you know your concealer or your um your brow gel just so that you can angle them and outline them to perfection you could also if you wanted to use a gel you could probably also use this um to you know fill in with the gel 
you know this is like for a bird like i would use this i usually just use a pencil and then i would use this to brush out the extra and just make sure it's um even but if you're using gel um uh yeah a brow gel then you could use the angled tip side so super cool so exciting um it's very thick it feels very thick and nice it feels hypoallergenic which i love very the brush is very soft which i like because it's your eyebrows you know and this also feels soft but like not like the angle is very good like it feels sturdy like you're gonna get an amazing straight line every time so i'm excited to use it and see and maybe i'll get some brow gel just an angled brush to do it so why not moving right along <clears throat> the uh, it's the elf runway ready lip palette and you know i usually just do lip gloss or something like that but i do enjoy lipstick when i do wear it it's just a little bit you know just finding a liner and just like trying to find that right color i just feel like i never i won't say never but i rarely get the right color and you're buying like lipstick after lipstick after lipstick, after lipstick. so i saw this lip palette and it had um multiple colors that i actually like this is one two three four five so this is six it has six colors i was just so excited to open it i forgot to show you guys it has six pretty colors. And these are like colors that I feel like I would generally love. You know, they're, um, they range from a more nude, plain, and then it kind of goes up to like a day to night kind of vibe. So I really, really like that. They're not over the top. They look really, really pretty. Um, I wonder if they have names on them. No, it doesn't. Just this creamy textured packed with pigment. Infused with grapeseed oil, shea butter, and coconut oil to help condition and nourish your lips. Ooh, which I told you guys I totally need because my lips are always dry. That's another thing with lipsticks. Because my lips are always super dry, it's like I moisturize them. Um, and I have to moisturize them a lot. And then I have to wait a while for it to settle in. Then it settles in. I put the lipstick and everything on it. And then maybe two to three hours in, you know, maybe, you know, a little more. And then it's just dry and it's just like little lipstick rolls and, you know, and then there's like this line and it's just not cute. And then I end up looking crazy. So that's great that this is a cream and it has grapeseed oil, shea butter and coconut oil in it. So now... Right, so then when I put coconut oil and shea butter, that also kind of like breaks down the lipstick. So I can't really use it. With this, I can. So, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It says just to use, um, oh, use the lip brush to apply a single color to the lips or mix with another to create a custom color. Reapply as often as desired. So I actually, when I read that first, I thought they were saying to just use a brush. And I was going to say, oh no, I could have got a lip brush, but um, I didn't know that I would need it. But this actually comes with a lip brush. I love this little package. It's so cute. Yes, Elf. I'm excited for this. I honestly forgot I bought this. Ah, okay. Oh, I'm scared to open it. I don't know. Do you push it? <gasps> oh, oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> that was scary. Okay. Okay, so, oh, oh, there's a piece of gel. It was like a glue. <laughs> so there's a piece of gel right here. Like, okay. Oh, it also comes with a mirror. And like my red kind of transferred a little bit. And it's like a dot there, but that's okay. We're okay. And these are the colors. Oh, so cute. I actually have a little 
brush like this that I was using as my concealer brush before, but it's actually just, it's actually just a paintbrush. But now I see, so this is the lip brush. It's a nice flat, um, just a regular tiny flat brush. Super cute, super, super cute. Very, it's like soft, but also once again, the amount of fibers is like, it, it feels like it'll give you a good amount. I'm not gonna mess with them now. I'm not gonna mess with them now. Um, maybe I'll do a try on portion where I just kind of like swatch them on my hands. Or maybe, you know, just swatch them on my lips, but I have lip gloss. Um, a lot of lip gloss and stuff on my lips right now so I don't want to um, put this on because I just I want to know what it's like on my I'm gonna say yeah my naturally dry lips <laughs> on my dry lips and then we'll see you know what happens but right now I have on um, lip gloss and even if I wipe it off it's still gonna be like that residue on there and I don't want it to impact the color or texture or anything like that i want to actually feel the texture so if you would like to see that please stay tuned for the try on portion after this <laughs> okay and then oh and then last but not least i got another pair of lashes okay so these are called starstruck i forgot to say what, what the other ones are called these are called starstruck and I really love these two. I'm all about bold lashes. I always have been. Um, I used to get the super, super cheap lashes. And they were all like clumped together and real hard. And they like didn't bend in anything. And you could just see them. You know, but everybody starts somewhere, okay? No one can judge me. No one can judge you. Everybody had to start at somewhere. Everybody started with those crazy lashes and the little white glue and everything that don't work. So, <laughs> yeah, so I really like this. So, I'm gonna get another tweezer. So, these are called Starstruck. They look so pretty. Cannot wait to put these on. I'm just gonna elevate my makeup look. So, I can't wait to show you guys. It's gonna be so cute. Okay. But right, so these, um, this was Starsh. These are Starstruck. And then the first ones that I got, just in case you guys would like to purchase them for yourselves. These were called Wings and Polished. Okay, so that's why they're like, um, cause I noticed that the ends were longer than the front, but I just thought that, I know like a lot of lashes do that. Um, but yeah, so these ones are called winged and polished. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but the ends are way longer. Actually, I'm taking off the box. Let's see if you can see how the end is way longer than the front part. So, oh, so that's like the wing part. Wings, winged and polished. <laughs> it's like an eyelash mullet. <laughs> so I didn't realize that. Um, yeah, so I actually got two pairs of lashes because like I said, I've just been really into lashes. I got a good glue. Um, I got a good kind of routine going. I'm still not the best lash putter on her, but I get them on and they do the trick. <laughs> and that is all that matters. Right? That's all that matters. I get them on and it do and they do the trick. And that's all that matters, right? You know? Don't let anybody lash shame you or makeup shame you. If you are just starting and you're doing whatever you need to do. probably just hating because you're figuring out how to you know do what you want to do and they're just still busy watching you and judging you like they're experts you know 
Okay guys, so that was the end of the second part of my Target haul with my beauty and skin products. I'm so glad that you watched it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you would like to see me try on the lipsticks and maybe the lashes, then please stay tuned. And if not, and you just enjoyed the unboxing, then that's great and I really truly appreciate you watching i hope you come back and i hope you um you know watch any more of my videos if there's any questions or comments that you guys want to know about me or to tell me please let me know in the comment section below you can also follow me on instagram at contessa janae um and you can send me a dm or comment under there too you will see me wearing the um you know you know wearing the lashes and using the products wearing the shoes from the first part of this video so you'll get to see it styled and while i'm out and about and yeah you know which is also fun it's also fun to see it in a try on video it's fun to see it outside in a picture you know best of both worlds i hope you guys have an amazing day i hope you guys come back i hope you liked commented subscribe and learn something new about stuff. <laughs> Say bye. Okay, so I just wanted to swatch for you guys the e.l.f. Runway Ready Lip Palette. It's all cream lip colors and um, they look really beautiful. I'll show you the package again. Super, super pretty colors. So I just wanted to see like the consistency and the colors and what it would look like on someone that's my skin complexion. And then maybe you could get an idea of what it would look like on you. Ooh, so pretty. So pretty, you guys. Oh my gosh. Already love it. Oh, and it comes with a little brush. So, you know, it's ready to just put on your lips. I was going to put it on my lips, but um, to, you know, put on each color and wipe it off would just take like a long time. So I'm just going to swatch it <clears throat> on my wrist so you guys, or on my arm so you guys can see what it looks like. So do they have names for each color? I'm wondering. I know sometimes they do. Okay, no they don't. <laughs> it's not like this color is this, this color is this. Ooh, very creamy already. Which I am loving. This is like a pretty nude color, which I love. Very glossy, okay. Um, it is more of like a gloss consistency. <clears throat> Then I would say um, it's more of a gloss consistency than I would say like a lipstick material, which for me I love. Um, it did say cream, so I hope I don't end up mixing all these colors together. Ooh, I just dug like a huge um, chunk out of it. I didn't mean to do that, but ooh. Wow, I'm really loving this very red color. Um, I think I'm just gonna use my hand. Wow, these are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so <laughs> I'm not a professional, but based on what I see so far, I really love the consistency um it's all cream um creamy textures pigmented with grapeseed oil shea butter and coconut oil to help condition and nourish the lips while it's on and guys o m g look at these colors you guys look at these colors i'm not the best person the pink one is very light but like if you just want a nice nude, like I usually do, I, that's probably gonna be like my go-to color every day. And then um, you see it's like a 
kind of like a cherry red and this is more like a purplish kind of red and then this is like red red like ruby red and then this is like uh kind of like a light plum and then this is like a dark plum like ooh. so pretty you guys i love like you can see how pigmented these are like these are beautiful i cannot wait to put these on and wear them out this is really going to change my life forever like i said before I have extremely, extremely, extremely dry lips. I have to always put on a ton, ton, ton of lip products. And um, so when I put on lipstick, it always ends up getting very dry. And I don't, um, you know, it doesn't look nice. And I don't really like that. With these creams, you guys, oh my gosh, you will have no problems. Like, even from here, you can see the just how vibrant and beautiful they are. And you can see the texture of it. Look how creamy and beautiful. Like you don't have to worry about like if you have sensitive skin like I do or anything like that. You do not have to worry at all. It's just ugh, beautiful, you guys. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. Just look at the colors. Look at the consistency. Look at the cream. Look at the shine. It's like shiny too, which I love a shine. Oh my god, you guys. I'm telling you, if you see this in the store, this is the e.l.f. Runway Ready Lip Palette. I'm so glad I got this. I can't wait. Like, this is going to change my life forever because lipstick is just always a problem for me you have to put on the liner and then you put the liner under the lipstick then you put the lipstick on top of it so much work like you know i'm all for simplicity this is beautiful simplicity if you follow me on instagram i'm sure you will see me rocking these colors like all the time i'm definitely gonna the first i would say the nude this i mean they're all beautiful colors they're just all i would say these ones are more like going out and then these are like you know just daytime um casual look like i said the first one it's very light and even as they're drying still very very creamy still very beautiful like kissable soft and um that's what i love is that while you're wearing it it's nourishing your lips and moisturizing them and healing them so it's like a win-win you don't have to choose between looking fashionable and wearing makeup and also protecting your lips so it's like ugh, amazing I'm all for lip care if anybody knows me I'm all for it so this is awesome you guys so 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 worth it ugh, so pretty eight dollars you guys eight dollars for these six beautiful beautiful colors i love it, it you can't go wrong for eight dollars the runway ready lip kit by elf i love them they're so great for beginners like me because you know they have brushes they have lip stuff they have the eyebrow stuff like you know they're here for you at a very 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 affordable price point when you get to the point where you know what you're doing and you know you're comfortable and you wear makeup a lot and you know you want to you know keep it for a long time and you know it'll last a long time then you know you can spend a lot of money on it but for me i'm just trying out i'm experimenting this is amazing for me like my mind is blown eight dollars for these six beautiful colors like oh my gosh guys just oh my god if you're looking for some type of lip stuff, definitely, definitely get it. Like, oh my gosh, just, just get it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching um, the swatch portion of my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like it as much as I do. I'm still shook it. Like, I don't even know what to say. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, man. Target. Oh, amazing.